How to blend clip line with a scissor and a comb. As you see it, he liked to have a very, very short, just like a zero line clipper to do it, more like a shape of the line. That's what he want. He liked to cut hair every two weeks. That's something too much, but that's what he want. Now, how to blend it in from that short to blend the scissor or comb, it's a very difficult, as you know. See, he point them up with the finger, where it's a line come of the back of the, like a V-shaped type of back. That's what he want. As you see it, side of hair is a very, very still short. Actually, he don't need a haircut, but that's what he want. That's what we have to do. Other side, as usual, like this, very short. To me, it's a way too short, but that's why he don't like it. He liked to have a very much to show the skin. This is his front before we started. He liked the straight up and the square. That's what he liked to have. Let's go how much I could do it. First, we have to clip her into the skin, really skin them up. That's what he want. That's what we have to do. Now, let's do it the other side the same way. The really, really cut hair with the zero clipper. Now you see the outside completely done like this. Now we're gonna bring the in scissor over comb to do it. Very difficult, but we do it. I just finished the haircut. As you see the side to the top, and the no clipper line, just very soft blended in. That's the difference for the scissor and the clipper cut. Clipper cut, it is blended in, but it's always very sharp looking. So this is the other side. Why well, it's lighter in there, that's a little bit, and uh, open up looks like a bowhead spot. It's not, just light hit at the wrong spot. Then we see the back of the head. So this is it, really soften up the whole thing. It is very difficult to do it. You should overcome to do it. I will show you later and how you do it. Now, look at the front. It, it is like a square looking cut. That's what I did. That's what he wants. Straight up and a square looking the top. That the scissors only no clipper to do it. So now I will show you how I did it. When you do the special haircut, you gotta have special tool. This is the one of the comb I brought from Japan for the angle comb. We have a, just like a clipper, three different kind. One is the largest one and it cut the lots of off. The middle one for the surface to clean the surface. The final and the taper line are completely blended in. But this time, I can't use for the very thin one then to a big one, they can't do either, so I have the middle side to use the, all the way, blend it into the tapering, whole thing. Scissor is the most important tool in hair cutting. I love the jewelry scissors all my life. This particular scissor called Urushi scissors. Very special way they made it. If you're interested, please go to the joel.com in Japanese side. They have a both Japanese and English. You could find out more detail from this Let's cutting hair. As you see, for that, I use for the edge of the comb to apply for the scissors. Movement scissors do not open wider, just use the pivot point only. As you see, for the, I prone for the scissors and a pivot point right on the comb, the edges. Other place is more like a, right into the skin to taking off all small hair. And you have to be stabilized the scissors very clear and use for the thumb only the moving blade to move. If you never had for scissor movement training, if you look at mogihair.com, you could find out how to training scissor movement. You'll be very exciting. Go check them out. Head is an around shape clean. So you have to be half foot forward, left foot. That way, left hand is much closer to the head. And also apply the 
comb and fit to the head and apply the scissors in the petals of the comb. And make sure you use for the clip line to the tapering the more top of the head. Use a scissor over comb and use it for scissors and edges with the comb. They keep pushing to the uh, blending section of the wider section to be done smoothly as possible. Then when it comes to the uh, clip line and then collecting in a more cutting off. As you see it for the guests, when they do this kind of stuff, just keep cutting. When it edges and clipper edges, I always use a comb, scissors, and especially scissors is a 45 degree or a little bit angle it, and then only tip it comb, scissors is a stain in the comb, and almost like I feel like a cutting for the skin them off. That's what I have to be done. But when the tapering, you have to be scissor over comb the parallel to keep it going up. Then adjusted by the uh, helping me up with the comb thickness. A comb is over the bottom of the thicker, so you could control it that way, you know, thinner and more. Now this kind of back of the head is very difficult because especially he has a little bump there, dense there, and how to blend it in, it's much difficult. And then Keep, keep cutting, keep cutting. I mean, no choice, just keep cutting. Cutting has very little, very precisely cut. You have to have very quality scissors that could be done. Otherwise, very difficult to blend it in this kind of particular hair cutting. Cutting like this, very little. Cutting hair, very short and very clearly cut these scissors. <laughs> Joanna had a special powder metal alloy, this particular shoes. When it blended in, you have to do the comb and scissor the parallel to keep going up. Now when you're taking off the outline, you have to put on a hold the comb, stabilize it, and use it for the scissors at a 45 degree angle with the back and force to do it. Thank you so much for watching the hair cutting. We just sit over comb. It's a total different than clipper cut. You have the training for the scissors open close very fast and stabilize it. Make sure for the moving blade to move, three blade is still. That's you have to cut the minimum eight pound of newspaper, then make sure hair cutting very fast and accuracy. That's what you have to do. Uh, thank you, this is the, for the finished job. And uh, see in the clipper cut and uh, scissor cut, biggest difference is kind of soft blended in and we could do it. Clipper cut the difference because the very sharp looking is a clipper cut. Soft taper is a scissor cut. Thank you so much again. I'll see you soon. Thank you.